<clears throat> so day 92 and we have a biohazard in the house because sarah has got to take a coronavirus test and part of that test is putting a swab in your mouth and tickling your tonsils with it i couldn't do that i think i'd throw up but i'm not going to show you her doing that because i'm worried about what will happen but you know uh, she's going to do it now it's a massive long swab so this is the swab that's got to go in your mouth. Tickle your tonsils five times each side. Is that right, Shay? Yeah, and then up her nose. And then up her nose. How okay. revolting. That's a swab. And if she's uh, positive, then you won't see me or any of the kids for two to three weeks. Oh. Um, so, yeah, Sarah's finished now, which oh. was horrendous. It's there made it me is. sneeze. That it's could be coronavirus working. on there. So she's going to put it in. Let's put it in here. In there. And you have to. Worrying times, eh, Charlotte? Yeah. Break the end off. Break the end off. Um, put that. Put that on there. And then put it in the biohazard uh, envelope, I guess. Which then... Oh, I've got to put the sticker on. And the courier is coming to get that at 8 o'clock today. Oh. So, put a sticker on, put it in the bag, uh, put another sticker on, put it in the box, put a big sticker on, seal it. And I think a courier is coming any minute now to come and get that. How exciting. You think it'd be Boris Johnson himself? You never know. Not here yet, though. As far as I say, it's done day 92. I'm just waiting for a run with the missus. And um, for the first time in 92 days, there's no Joe Wicks. Yeah, it feels a bit sad, really. Um, even though he destroys me every day, I kind of got used to it now. But well, he's back tomorrow. Um... But things are going back to normal, aren't they? So we have to go back, back to normal. He's, he's back tomorrow. He is back tomorrow, yeah. Yeah. He's back no, tomorrow. it's not. It's not the end of the world. Anyway, so today's I've got to take a lady to a clinic. I surely shouldn't do that, but I'll wear a mask. Um, and a bit of shopping this morning, and then see what the rest of the day holds. It's going to be a red hot. So I'm hoping this afternoon is comics and sun. You never know. Anyway, let's get back to my cereal. Um, can can uh, suggest that the cereal from Tesco, uh, the peanut clusters with chocolate curls, they make a version of it as well. Uh, actually, the original version is made by Kellogg's. It's crunchy nut granola with chocolate curls. Um, I can uh, suggest to you that if you want a knockoff brand, you go for the Aldi or Little versions because this version is not as good. Okay, indie haircut sorted. Oh yeah, um, and we're off now. I haven't I shut the boot yet. Yeah. We're off now on the first shopping trip of the day at half nine. Goes to show no Joe Wicks, and I actually get on in the morning. What does that say about me? Anyway, I just like his hair. So um, I'm going, and I'll go to Morrison's I think first, and then off to Ingalls, and then off to take this lady to the clinic, and then maybe home to see my mother. I'm pushing you along. Please don't pedal. You're leaning, you're leaning over. Dad, that was you that time. It was not. Look. Please. What are you doing? What is this? I can't do the right. I can't see what you're doing. What are you doing? Metals and alloys. Yes. Um, so for lunch today, I've got this massive scotch egg from the local butchers. I'm going to try and cut it wow. while videoing. And that is warm inside. <laughs> and look how the sausage meat actually fills. That's what it should do. It should fill round the egg. Not you shouldn't, Your egg shouldn't rattle when you have a scotch egg. That's a, a good rule of thumb. But I'll give you my review. I'm trying some scotch egg. Mmm. Mmm. That's my girl. Mmm. Mm. Oh, God. How good is that? It's crispy as well. That's really crispy. Mmm. Mm. Over? Do I need 
to do now. Um, set aside. Set aside. Massing bananas. Massing three big light bananas. Well, round. That egg was already cracked. Um, so yeah, we're going um, furthest I've ever been on a volunteer run. I know I said I'd usually go further than Hog Store, but today we're going to Sutton on Sea to deliver a prescription which is new for me um, but you know when the lady says it what she wants to do it I guess I'm about to, you know, I have to do it um, so I, I am uh, but it's quite a way it's like half an hour there and half an hour back but well, it's a lovely day for a drive it's going too fast Treat in a week for a fiver is this multi tool I picked up um, from Lidl. Look at that. Um, so I'm just picking it out of the uh, plastic and then I'll show you how it works. This is the uh, second tape of this, but there is a reason for that and I'll show you why. So, yeah, for those who can't afford the leather man, as they call it, uh, because of these extraordinary times, um, you can get one of these from Lidl. Um, I've always needed one of these because I'm like, I'm, I'm such a manly scout leader. And uh, basically, it's a multi-tool, or the leather man. Now, the reason we had to do a double take of this is I couldn't get the knife out here to show you. And that's because there's a cool safety feature just here. So what you have to do, you have to press that button down at the back there, and then boom, that is a knife. And then it stays out there until you press that in again. So you've got a knife, you've got a little nail file, Super manly. You've got a screwdriver, both flathead and Phillips. <laughs> you've got a little tape measure in inches and centimetres. On this side, you've got a saw. You've got... Oh, what is that, Sarah? Any idea what these two are? Ooh, I am not. Man, so it's just having a look what they are. No. Knife? That isn't a knife. And a tin opener. Ah, oh, oh, yes, a tin opener. And finally, the most important thing of all, a bottle opener. For when you're getting laddish. And obviously, pliers. And when you're done with it, just pop it away. And not only that, but it comes with a nifty case. You just pop it in. It's also got wire cutters on there. It's got wire cutters on there somewhere. But it, so yeah, that's it goes in the case somehow. But we're not going to go through that now. Just know, get one of these. It's really heavy. Tonight is gammon, egg, egg chips, chips and garden peas. Where's your garden peas? I haven't got garden peas. Mm. So, um, doing some homework this, this, this afternoon uh, with the kids and um, Adam says, are you any good at PowerPoint? And I said, I excel at it. And he said, is that a Microsoft Office pun? And I said, word. 
Damn, I forgot to do this, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, day 92 out the way. Busy, busy day. <coughs> trip to Sutton on Sea. Sunny Sutton. What a lovely, lovely trip that was. And yeah, quite a lot of prescriptions. Um, but you know, it's starting to calm down a lot now. Uh, even Boots told me there shouldn't be as many now just because people are getting out and about. And that's, that's cool as long as they're safe. But other than that, a nice quiet day. Charlotte's learning how to ride a bike, you've seen, the morning and afternoon. Um, and you're getting there, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Stabilizers off. Yeah, stabilizers off today. <laughs> Say that again. Stabilizers off. Yeah, so that was, that was an exciting part of the day. And I've written 20s questions. Or Sarah's got... written 50, but I've typed up 20. I've tried to fix a key on my keyboard. The keyboard that I was... Same with how wonderful it was at the start of lockdown. Can't stop typing the letter three on the screen. <laughs> Do you mean so, the number three? The number three. Not letter. Three isn't a letter. Clearly I'm tired. Right, I'm going now. And um, to do not a lot. Drink this coffee my daughter's made me. And I'll see you tomorrow for day 93. For Joe Wicks, outside. Oh. Yes. Stay outside safe. Outside on the iPad. Love each other. Take care of each other. And even with all these things changing, with lockdown being opened up, please, please take care. Stay distant when you can from these fools in town who will not listen to anything. Um, Dad. Sorry. Dad. Yeah, we need to calm down. But yeah, just we stay safe and take care of each other because he hasn't gone away. He's still there. Lockdown but, is still um, not over. No, no, it's not over, Charlotte. So just take care of each other, okay? And I'll see you tomorrow for day 93.